Hi friends, welcome to our channel Aquatic Fish Doctor. Generally, many hobbyists keep some kind of gravels at the bottom of the fish tank, right? Some keep some glass stones, some keep some sand material or some gravel, rocks, pebbles, like that's many type of substrate used for the fish tanks. What happened? One of our customer has kept some kind of glass stones. I will show the video in this video. He has kept some blue color stone at the bottom of the tank. One flower on accidentally swallowed one glass stone. What happened to the glass stone? How we removed the glass stone? What was the reason why it was swallowed by the flower on? These are the things we are going to see in this video. Continue watching. Recently, one of our customers brought his flower on to our cleaning saying that a flower on has swallowed a glass stone kept in the tank. They tried to remove the stone using some method but they could not succeed in removing the stone. That's the reason they brought the fish to our clinic. Then we opened the mouth and saw there was some kind of blue colored thing stuck inside the throat region. So we tried to remove the stone using a tweezer but it could not come out. The, we thought it is a flat stone so we inserted a tweezer inside the mouth and pull it off but it did not come out so we tried continuously to take out the stone but what happened because of the shape of the stone was just like a round it keep on going inside so we could not remove the stone so what we decided we decided to remove the stone through the uh, gill region. So we inserted the tweezer through the gill filaments without damaging the gill filament we inserted the tweezer and finally the stone came out. The fish was brought to our cleaning. It was totally faded. All the fins got eroded and fish was just lying at the bottom of the tank. It has a very difficult time in breathing. I will show the video. You can watch it clearly. The fish was almost about to die. So we used the tweezer method and we tried to remove the stone and finally we removed the stone. After that, the fish started swimming in the tank. That video I will show you. Watch it now. Generally, we ask all the hobbyists to keep some kind of gravels at the bottom of the tank because natural environment, the fishes live in such a place that where there will be a lot of gravel, sand and pebbles. So we have to provide an environment which is similar to the nature. Okay, that is the reason why we suggest to keep some kind of natural gravels in the tank. Like this, there may be some accidental incident may happen. It does not mean that we, we have to, we should not keep some kind of gravel in the tank. We have to keep some kind of good gravels and avoid artificial gravel in the tank. This is the message I wanted to convey with you. So keep following our channel. You will get many fish related information. We will share you many health related tips and keep following our channel. Bye.